What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Right, people, it is Wednesday. You know what that means? This is where I share my favorite posts. Or not, yeah, some of my favorite posts that I found interesting on Instagram, and I want you to look at them, right? And then I'll talk about them, and you can talk about them. You can go to, like, the, the water cooler at work or whatever, and you just, like, you fill up your water, and, you know, because you want a break from your work, and you just, like, hey, did you see Swipe Up this week? Uh, Ray, talking about that post. This is, it's going to change your life, so you're welcome in advance. Uh, it's my pleasure. Um, but we're going to start off with, you know, you know uh, art is, is a big part of my life, and Photoshop is one of the tools that I've been using for a big chunk of that life, um, as my foot is completely... Okay. Um, having a cable wrapped around your foot is a very claustrophobic feeling, apparently. I just found that out right now. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this is some amazing Photoshop. I come across... You know, I follow accounts that share other people's accounts all the time. And uh, one of the things is art. And I see new artists, new Photoshop artists. Um, and this is uh, Carl Redback. I think he's uh, Parisian. He's French. Um, photographer. But he also does uh, just amazing Photoshops. And that's one thing with Photoshop. Uh, that if you have the skill of photography as well, um, then it allows you to do a lot more because, or it, it helps you create a lot better images than you necessarily would if you were just trying to go through stock photos or Google photos. Um, but this is amazing. I, I love this image. Um, and very kind of in a way reminds me of my logo in a little bit. Not exactly. Um, and then we have this next one, some, I mean, the level of things people are able to do, the skimboarding, uh, like, you know, he's riding it like a skateboard, pushing it, <laughs> like, skimboarding videos when I grew up in the mid-90s were like, you know, you just fucking run up and you kind of go up on the wave and that's kind of it. It's very boring. Very, uh, nothing too special about it. Um, and then here you are, this dude, uh, doing crazy tricks at the beach. Not something I can do. Never got into that, uh, skimboarding stuff. The Beast, UFC, the Black Beast, Eric Lewis, lost, sadly. <laughs> UFC, I'll talk about that tomorrow. And that's, you know, payback's a bitch. That's pretty much that's what that video is all about. Payback's a bitch. Don't mess with my my friends, or we'll come back and and just destroy you, bro. Uh, one place you might destroy people with your friends, maybe some five on five basketball. Uh, I grew up playing basketball. I made a lot of friends in school. Like that was kind of my outlet uh, away from bullying. Kind of in a way made me stronger in in a lot of ways. That was kind of um, how I became more of a man through playing basketball, playing pickup basketball specifically. I rarely ever played in a gym. Uh, gyms floors are way too soft. They are for little little women that, no, I, this is a very inoffensive term to say now. It's what I would have said back then. Um, but no, I play on asphalt, bro. In the desert, asphalt, right? I never played on a court like this. Uh, gorgeous outdoor court. Um, you know, I would for sure love to play. And and it kind of reminds me, there was a, in middle school, there was one of the courts was surrounded by a chain link fence. And that was the court that me and my friends played at. And we called it the cage um, because it was a cage. We were surrounded on uh, this basketball court. And it was kind of a fun thing. It was, you know, later cages became places where people fought. You know, UFC back in my day. Just before the UFC, just before the UFC started, uh, it was playing basketball. And there were different kind of fights. Fights of manhood, fights of pride, fights of points. And I put down a shitload of points. I had the range, three-pointers, they would drop. Don't get me angry. Because that's what fires me up. That's how I got 
in the zone back in the day was seeing red. And then I just fucking, the basket would just open up to like Grand Canyon. I couldn't miss. Um, but this is a gorgeous basketball court that I would love to play in um, for sure. And uh, it's just, you know, I can't, I can't say enough about it. Can't say enough about it. But it reminded me of uh, my childhood. Izzy's excited about it as well. Uh, you know, so I had to share it because that's just a gorgeous basketball court. You don't really see, you know, new design. You see graphics on basketball courts. You don't see just overall design change, super bright colors, which I like, of course. Um, so last, last, not the last thing, but, uh, let's get to, uh, some words of wisdom. As always, I like to drop some words of wisdom from, uh, time to time on the show and uh gary v is one of my favorite people one of the most inspiring people to listen to um so let's uh let's just listen to but what he's got to say. how in the fucking world are you willing to impose hate or judgment on another human being dude fuck that skin tone race gender ethnicity sexual preference Learning capability, That's financial. What this is all about, bro. You just, you just, I, you just I have zero, box. zero interest in ever or ever letting anyone to my, my rationale right now to becoming well known mm-hmm. is to redefine what an alpha male winner looks like. I definitely like that. I think here's the thing culturally, We've we've become very complacent. A hate and uh, being angry, talking shit has become like the new pastime. It's the only thing people do, and I think uh, we need a lot more people who are willing to be role models. Who are really who are willing to be good examples of what to do um, instead of people who make a career on taking advantage and treating other people like shit, Um, specifically our president, who's just... There's nothing for me to, like... There's zero that he offers me in the universe that I would admire. There's zero to admire with that man. Um, And having money, being given money as a... It's like there's zero for me. He's a very just... he's. One of the worst examples of the bad, just worthless shit that our our just our culture worships. It's it's just he's the example of everything. Um, and just because we're in this crazy world, I'm gonna do I'm shout outs while we see a little performance good. art uh, from. And this has been on the internet for a while. Jake uh, Nodar. Jake M. Nodar on, on Instagram is going to do shout outs while he dances with a pony to some uh, music from Sia. Uh, let's do the shout outs in the uh, this episode here. So prepared. So shout out to uh, Carl Redback. Shout out to Clark Little. Shout out to Blair Cochran. Shout out to the Beast UFC. Shout out the Street Art Globe. Shout out to Il Studio. Shout out to Pig Ale Paris. Shout out to Gary V. Shout out to Jake M. Nodar. And shout out to Sia Music. That is it for this week's episode of Swipe Up. I hope you enjoyed the post that I've enjoyed this past week. Hope you enjoyed this dance. And I hope you have a great week. Check out my work, inspiredisorder.com. Check me out at Ray Taylor. Have a great day. Peace out. Peace out.